$1,000 for three nights. That must be some <laughs> castle, but I would love to do that. In Scotland. <laughs> totally would. All right, Aaron, I, is this going to be a few days, the next few days, where we're going to want to get away? <laughs> Probably. I, I mean, it doesn't look too bad out there right now, right? We do have the clouds increasing. One thing you can't see, though, is just how breezy it is outside. So 86 degrees at DFW right now. We're not getting into the mid-90s like we did yesterday. But I will say, south winds 18 miles an hour, gusting to 32 miles an hour. So we've got the dew points, the moisture content in the air. It's increasing just a little bit, uh, 51 degrees for that dew point. So uh, we do have humidity levels. Levels at 30% at DFW. All this to say, with the gusty winds and, of course, the warm temperatures, the dry vegetation, there is still that fire threat, but we are seeing those improvements thanks to the south winds as far as that moisture content is concerned. Now, for tonight, the only thing you have to contend with, maybe for that evening walk, is going to be this wind. Uh, south, southeast winds at about 15 to nearly 20 miles an hour, and, of course, gusting higher than that, but it keeps us in the low 80s by 7 o'clock, upper 70s by 8 o'clock tonight, 10 o'clock temperature temperatures down into the mid 70s and it's not a huge drop into tomorrow morning actually expecting a lot of spots to be in the 60s tomorrow morning. So your weather headlines that high fire risk does continue but we've got storms in the forecast for Tuesday night. This is coming with a cold front so temperatures will be slightly cooler into Wednesday but yes with this cold front the storm chances we do have that level two slight risk pretty much for all of North Texas. The timing of this looks to be after 10 o'clock tomorrow night through about 4 a.m. on Wednesday. So here's a look at future cast. Tomorrow is going to be cloudy. We talked about the south winds and that moisture content increasing. Well, it means it's a little bit cloudier for your Tuesday with some isolated showers. Coverage is at about 10 percent. Uh, it is going to be warm and windy into the afternoon. Of course, temperatures are going to be getting into the 80s and we, of course, still have the cloudy skies, uh, but the storm Storms not really approaching until about 11 p.m. This is the latest model run. So that cold front still out to the west. Those strong storms are moving in. Look at how well defined this line is as it approaches the I-35 corridor, and then it just starts to break up. So the models have been pretty consistent with this. Stronger storms out west, line kind of breaking up as it moves over the Metroplex, and then re-intensifying east of I-35. Notice the timestamp too. It's 4 a.m. So it looks like most of this is out of here before the morning commute on Wednesday and then into Wednesday midday. We've got some clouds out to the west, clear skies over uh, North Texas. Temperatures will likely warm into the mid and upper 70s before cooling off. But we do have uh, that threat into Wednesday, not including DFW, but a level three enhanced risk, enhanced risk for areas that already saw severe weather last week as well. So uh, it is, of course, something that we're going to have to watch. It looks like for us, the main threat is going to be that wind damage, uh, large hail at a two out uh, as far as that concern goes. So we've got a big cool down into Wednesday, especially by Thursday with a high of 70 degrees, guys.